time now for our community update this morning. We want to welcome Nina Police Chief Aaron Olson to the studio this morning. Welcome, Chief, for the first time to Local 5 this morning. Thank you, Shelley. Well, your department is investigating the murder of Adam Baith. He was shot to death Monday morning. What can you tell us about this investigation and where you're at? Well, it's a very unfortunate incident. Any killing is unnecessary. Our investigators are working around the clock uh, to develop a suspect and take this person into custody. They're following up with all the leads through social media, through Crime Stoppers, um, all, all the phone calls we're receiving. So I really, really encourage the citizens, if you know anything about this case, get to contact Lieutenant Pat Pedersen at 920-886-6033 or you can contact Crime Stoppers at 920-231-8477. Any help we can have from the public will help us greatly. Now, you are also looking for a person of interest. We do have that picture right on there. Can you explain the picture a little? Uh, this is a picture of a suspect, not a suspect, but a person of interest that uh, occurred prior to the shooting at a bar. Uh, if you have any information on this, uh, individual please contact us or if he can contact us we just need to talk to him and you're also asking the public for help with video explain that what type of video yeah any ring doorbells or any home surveillance systems if uh, the suspect may have walked by that neighborhood uh, before or after the shooting uh, we would like to see those videos as well okay and you're also waiting from for the, from the crime lab and stuff like that Yes, all the evidence, uh, DNA, touch evidence, uh, ballistics, all that will be the Wisconsin State Crime Lab in Madison, and, and that could take some time, so we're waiting for that as well. Okay, let's go on to another subject. The department recently became accredited. Now, what does that mean, and why is that so important? Uh, we're very proud to be accredited. It means that our organization is above all standards. Uh, only 1% of all Wisconsin law enforcement agencies are accredited. It's through the Wisconsin Law Enforcement Accreditation Group. Um, they, they come in and proof all of our policies. We have to show proof that we abide by the policies. And it's very difficult. It can take two to three years. It sounds simple, but it's actually a very grueling process. It takes a long time. Uh, and then you have to get re-accredited every three years and well, we're working on that. Well, congratulations on that. And you're also working on transparency at the station and have a new program called Chat with the Chief. Tell us about that. Yeah, we block off uh, about four or five hours of my day. Uh, we started last week, we'll do it again uh, every month where citizens can come in, meet with me, ask questions, get to know us. Uh, it's a program we're, having, we're gonna have fun with. It was a very good, program that we started last week and uh, we had good success. And you also created a fact section on your Facebook page or on your web page. We just saw that video. Tell us about it. Yeah, we have a lot of, lot of questions are being asked about the police department, rightly so. And uh, we're just trying to get all that information out there. We want to be transparent. We want people to know we're doing the right thing. We have the proper policies in place. We're training our officers correctly. And uh, if they have those questions, if they don't want to take the time to come and see me or talk to me, they can go to the web page and uh, we have those FAQs on there. And how is that going? It's going great, going very good. Uh, citizens are uh, need to be informed. Uh, we want them to be informed. So the more questions, the better. Uh, a lot of times they leave my office or I leave, I go to their house, wherever they want to meet and they leave enlightened, uh, informed, they understand what's going on and they, and they really enjoy the conversation and as do I. Now you have two new canines. Tell us about your canine program. Yeah, we, uh, we've always just had one canine and now we have a new canine, canine Bobby started about a year ago and now another new canine, canine Cam, who started about two weeks, two weeks ago, I believe. And now we even have a third canine that, who we did not purchase. The, uh, he was purchased through the Lake Winnebago Metro Drug Unit, but we provide the handler. So it's not our dog, we provide the handler, but it gives us a third dog to utilize. And with drugs always on the rise, it's a great tool for us. These dogs are not only great at narcotics detection, but they're good for uh, community policing. The kids love them. We love them, and they're great to have in the in the building. And we also have a station dog too, Canine Bobby, uh, or excuse me, uh, Canine Badges. He was donated to us, 
And uh, he does a great job for our officers when they are feeling down or anything. He puts his head on his, their lap, and it's a great thing. And I imagine he was the fuzzy, cute one we saw. That's right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chief, so much for joining us today. Chief Thank Aaron you. Olson with the Nina Police Department. Thank you.